What's up you guys, my name is Ariana and welcome to my YouTube channel. As you guys can already tell from the title, in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to install faux locks on your own hair. Whether you have natural hair or you just want to install some faux locks and you're tired of paying a couple hundred dollars to get your hair done, this is the video for you. So as y'all can tell, um, I let my natural hair get matted yet again. If you're an OG of this channel, y'all know this is nothing new. I always say I'm going to do better with my deep conditioning routines and I never do. So I am really just re-wetting my hair, blow drying it, bro, I'm not even putting on heat protectant. I just did not care this day. And because y'all can see my hair is like two different colors, um, natural hair history real quick. I have bleached my hair twice and I put color over top. So my, the brown part of my hair, it doesn't really maintain moisture like that. So uh, we're just going to go in with the hair grease because at this point, I'm just trying to grow my natural hair out again so I can cut off the colored parts so my hair can be 100% natural, never processed, anything like that. So into the tutorial, I chose to do three parts for two reasons. One, I'm not about to have two mirrors, one in front of me, one behind me, trying to make my parts as super crisp as possible because why like it, it doesn't matter after my roots start to get fuzzy you're not going to see the parts anyway so i just decided to skip all of that literally this is the laziest video you guys will ever see i'm just trying to make everything as simple as possible so if i can do it i want you guys to be able to do it as well so if you guys peep my fingernails um my index finger and pinky finger are stiletto and my middle finger and ring finger are coffin the reason why I have the stiletto nails is because my actual profession is a braider or hairstylist if you guys didn't know and whenever I try to do stitch braids it's just way easier to part with my nails already being done. So if you guys want to do your own hair and you don't want to always pick up the comb, consider changing your nail shape. It's super easy. So I just decided to do medium kind of large-ish sections. Um, I wasn't counting. I didn't really care if the sizes matched at this point. Grab some hair, braid it at the root, and then two strand twist it until you get to the end. That's literally all I'm doing. So as you guys see, I braided the root and now I'm twisting it down to the ends. I'm going to get a little bit more detailed in a few seconds, but I like to show you guys what I'm doing first and then I will go in in detail and explain what exactly I'm doing. So if you guys see me, I'm combing my hair and there is product on my roots as you guys can tell. What I am using is Shine and Jam. It's optional, but I've noticed whether I'm doing knotless braids or just any type of protective style, it always just makes your hair so crisp and like smooth looking. So I would recommend getting it. They have different types, I guess, different degrees of hold. So they have like a medium hold, a super strong hold. So it really just depends on the look you're going for. Tip, I also like to put the Shine and Jam all the way down my hair strand for two reasons. One, I notice with the faux locks, if you leave your hair kind of like puffy on the ends, the lock itself is going to be massive and we don't want that because <laughs> it's already going to be kind of thick because of the sizing. So I would say definitely put the Shine and Jam all throughout the hair and then twist it down. Um, this is really the only part on my hair where I did use a comb just because I like to always have a middle part with whatever style I'm doing just to have it as an option. So yeah, back to the twisting. It's literally the same thing. Put the shine and jam on your part, comb it, detangle it, do all of that. Braid the root a few times, maybe like one to two inches down your hair and then just twist the rest. You can braid your hair all the way down to the end, but I don't know about y'all, but I'm not about to sit there and take all them braids out whenever it's time to remove this style. So twisting is just a lot easier. It's a lot more beginner friendly as well if you guys don't really know how to braid. I'm just trying to make it as easy as possible. So if you guys want to know how many locks I have total, I did 36 twists or sections. I didn't count. I literally just went in with my fingers and parted away but I made sure that the front of my hair was at least somewhat organized. I wanted to have, I think I have eight rows or sections across the front if that makes sense. So yeah girl we looking cute. I low-key could have left my hair like that but I really wanted locks. The length of the locks I'm using is 30 inches. Free Tris is the brand. I'm gonna have them linked down below if I can. Um, Y'all I didn't know that they had pre-fluffed hair listen i used to be sitting there detangling fluffy hair for hours just trying to like make it look a certain way just so i can do the styles for my clients never again 
I am not doing that ever again. Once I found out that they had pre-fluffed hair, I was like, oh, we gonna get this. I don't care how expensive it is. And y'all, um, when I tell y'all it was so easy to do these faux locks, oh, it's the best tutorial ever, I promise you. So now we're gonna get down into the actual detailed part of things. You see, I'm kind of detangling the fluffy hair just a little bit because whenever you take it out of the pack, the ends are still clumped together, but the shaft? Girl, the part that's not the ends is fluffed. So you have to like detangle the ends a little bit. So as y'all can see, I'm installing it. I'm gonna explain in a minute in detail exactly how I install it, but just watch, I'm telling you. I like to show it first and then I'll explain it later. Okay, detailed tutorial time. So you take your crochet hook, you shove the needle through the braid. You do not, I repeat, do not put the lock through your root. It's gonna be bulky, it's not gonna flow as much. I'm telling you, I saw this girl on YouTube do it like this and I was like, oh sis, you're onto something. Cause I don't like the bulky root look. It's just, it's not cute. So put it through your braid and if you guys can see, I'm tightening it as much as possible. The reason why is because you don't want to have a massive knot wherever your natural hair and the crochet hair meet. So yeah, we don't like that. Next, take your pre-fluffed hair, you put the crochet needle through your roots, and you just pull out one of the ends. I like to do like one side short and then the other side super long. That way I don't have to pull the whole fluffy thing through my roots. It's not as painful if you're tender-headed. Thank me later. So yeah, once you have one side short and the other side long, then you want to just start wrapping. I wrap it around my root or the part of my braid that is above the crochet lock, maybe like one or two times, and then I start wrapping down. Whenever you are getting to the point where the knot is at, I wrap that section tighter than I do the rest of the way down the lock. Only reason why is because I'm trying to make the size of the lock look even, if that makes sense. Because you don't want it to be like bulky because if you do, then people will be able to tell where the knot is at. So yeah, you just wrap it all the way down until you run out of hair. And then literally you just palm roll it like you guys saw me do. You don't have to add any glue. You don't have to add a lighter. You don't have to burn it. You don't have to do none of that. Literally just rub it in your hands. So again, you install the lock through your natural hair braid. Make sure that it's tight. Once it's tight, then you take the crochet needle, put it through your roots, and you add the fluffy hair. Pull it through to one side, make sure that the shorter side is the side that you attach with the lock and your natural hair. Fluff it if necessary, and then you want to begin wrapping. Wrap it around your root one to two times. It really just depends on how many times you want to wrap it. It's, it's not really that hard, to be honest. It may look harder than what it actually is. And then you just wrap it down like you guys see me doing. Make sure that you wrap it really loose. Not to the point where it's like super fluffy, but just gently wrap it. Don't wrap it super tight because then your locks are going to be stiff and they're not going to move. And that's not cute. Been there, done that. It's not cute. So wrap it as loose as you can while making sure that the lock is secure. 
if that makes sense. It's kind of hard to explain that. But yeah, so you just want to keep wrapping down. Make sure that all of your natural hair is covered. Take your time whenever you're getting to the end of your natural hair. Once you get towards the end, wrap the rest of the ends and then you just palm roll it. Literally super easy. Super easy. And y'all, it's fire. The curly ends were already on the lock. I don't have to dip anything. I don't have to burn anything. Oh, it's it's fire. And guess what? My head didn't even hurt when I was done because when I was doing my sections, I wasn't braiding tight at all because I knew I needed to put the fluffy hair through my root. So yeah, if you guys are doing any crochet styles, do not braid your hair tight. It's going to hurt. You may pull your hair out. I just don't recommend it. So yeah, I'm just showing you guys different styles that I like to wear whenever I have locks or braids in. I pretty much wear the same styles. I usually do a side part, kind of roll it over as you guys see, pull the other side back, and then I tie it like a knot. I like to double knot the locks because I notice whenever you only wrap it one time or tie it one time, it kind of tends to fall out. So yeah, I double knot it now and it'll stay all day. It's super pretty. It's very, very lightweight. I am able to put my hair in a bun. I don't have to put a trash bag on my head to take a shower. I don't have to do any of those things. This is literally about to be my go-to hairstyle because I'm so sick of my natural hair curling out of my braids after like two weeks. I pay all this money or I spend all this time if I do my hair myself and it just curls out of the braid. So at this point, I'm just gonna cover my hair. See, makes sense. So yeah, this is pretty much the end of the video. I'm just giving you guys the looks right now of me doing my edges. But yeah, I hope this video was very, very helpful if you guys are brave enough to wanna try to do your own hair or if you're just tired of paying a lot of money with wanting someone else to do it. A thousand percent I would recommend this hairstyle if your hair is soft or like not coarse and you struggle with maintaining protective styles I think this style is really good for people who have hair like that because it tends to be more curly and the styles don't last as long so yeah 10 out of 10 if you guys try this hairstyle comment below again I'm gonna have the hair that I use linked down below in the description box if not I will just type it out so you guys know the exact curl pattern and all of that so yeah we found a winner make sure you guys subscribe to my channel give this video a big big thumbs up as well as leaving a comment down below if you are new or if you simply enjoyed this video thanks again and i will see you guys in my next one peace